<laughs> Wait. Sorry, a little hold up here. Um, my bad. Yeah. Okay, let's just make it close as possible. Okay, so. Oof. So in this video, I'll be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers, like how they do this year. Uh, excuse me for one second. I have to go out to check something. Oh, excuse me. Okay, there was nothing. I thought I heard some noise, something, but oh, anyway. Sorry, just waste a whole minute of your time. <clears throat> yeah, so how's the Lakers doing this year? Well, the Lakers are not doing so well this year. So they only won. They only won out like, like about twenty games. And Lakers are not doing well. Yeah, Lakers have about has like bad defense. They have really bad defense, but their offense is probably average about the Los Angeles Lakers. So, so I just want to get it real quick about the Lakers. Lakers did their revenge on some team that beat the Lakers by a lot. Yeah, so the Lakers is pretty good about that. And the Lakers beat like a lot of good team this year. But the Lakers are not consistent. So, according according to the schedule, the Lakers beat the Rockets, and they beat the Warriors, of course, and they beat. Let's see what other good team did the Lakers beat. Hmm. They beat LA. They beat the Memphis Grizzly twice. No, well, that's pretty much it. And they, surprisingly, they beat the Spurs as well. And their highest goal, the highest scoring is like 130 points, which is overtime. 130 points, very impressive Lakers. Yeah, so ever since the Laker has the worst 49 point loss, they became a lot better now. The Lakers become a lot better. Yeah, as you can see, um, they beat the Phoenix Suns and the Spur. The team that beat the Laker by over 30 points. I know that Laker got their new coach Luke Walston. Yeah, the, the the old assist coach from last year for the Golden State Warriors. Lakers has been making impressive improvement. So they got the re revenge on the Suns and the Spur. Now I was really it was really shocking that the Laker was playing at the Spur and the uh, Spur lost. Yeah, cause obviously the Spur didn't play well, right? You know that if the team doesn't play well, they will lose. Yeah, the reason why the Spur lost the Lakers because I'm assuming that the Spur got tired from their yesterday's game. Well, this this game was posted a few days ago. Yeah, because um, the Spur has to play back to back, but although they don't have to travel, maybe the Memphis Grizzly you play really hard. That can worn out the Spur. Yeah, I get it. They've been Spurs been playing a lot of games and they get tired. And that's how the Laker overcomes the Spurs. Yeah, because when I watch the Spurs and the Laker, I can tell the Spurs look tired. Well, the Laker has like a lot of energy. That's the key thing. Why the team lose? The team lose because they have like bad defense or their bad offense or they don't have enough energy to play the game. 
Yeah, the bad news is that if the Lakers beat so many tough teams, they can lose their first and roll pick. I watched some comment complain that the Lakers should lose, but you expect the Spurs to be Lakers all the time, right? Well, in that case, it's not. But it's not an excuse. I mean, you're a professional player. You're supposed to play back to back. And you shouldn't feel tired. So there is no excuse. There is no lame excuse of why you should lose. So San Antonio should not get like lame excuse why they lose. Yeah. Well, we you know that this coming 12th, the Lakers are facing against the Warrior. Again, right? Let's see if the Lakers can beat the Warrior. Well, I doubt it's not. Lakers may get revenge on the Warrior because last time when they went to the Warrior, they lost about 43 points. Yeah, the team that beat the I mean, yeah, Lakers are pretty good. They, they're trying to revenge on the team that beat them more than 30 points. Well, obviously, they didn't beat the Dallas. Huh. Yeah, Dallas beat them 49 points, but they could not revenge on the Dallas. Let's see, they did not revenge on the Toronto. Who did not, did the Lakers did not take a revenge on? Hmm. Yeah. I guess there's nothing much to say. And Lakers been losing 39 points to the Houston Rockets twice this year. This year is yeah, 2017 is a really crazy year. If you just look at NBA. I mean, team has like off and on days, just teams. Anyway, um, what's the NBA current standing? Well, I think the Lakers are in 14th place, but they're 15 and they're still first and roll pick. Let's see. Yeah, Lakers move up to 14. Oh man, sucks man. Suns are 15, they got Devin Booker. He's like the key of the sun. He's the key player. Sorry to say this. Lakers are not going to be first in row pick. Just because they beat a good team. And they beat Sacramento just yesterday or something. They beat the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, because I know that Sacramento is not going to be a good team because they lost the Marcus Cousin. Because he moved to the Pelicans. And they just won a trade for three other players. For the... Um, for the Kings. Just saying. Anyway guys, um, the NBA season is almost over. Wow, that was pretty quick, huh? Well, hopefully, the Lakers can make it to the playoff very soon, but I don't know when. But it's already say this, they're not going to get first row pick. That's the bad thing is if you win too much games. This ends. Comment if you like below or not, but I don't know much about the Lakers. I don't watch much basketball anymore because I have to study and I have to do other things. There's nothing much to say about the Lakers. But good try. I mean, I just say congratulations Lakers. If they, they beat like three tough teams that I know from the Western Conference.